how is it going everybody mr android here welcome back to a brand new video on this channel today i'm going to show you some really useful hidden samsung settings that you need to change right now on your galaxy smartphone guys if you are a samsung owner then stay tuned and watch this video till the very end also let's see him for at least 1000 likes on this one with that said drop a like leave a comment and let's get started did you know after the release of one ui 5.1 samsung now lets you to decide what apps you want to show notifications on your lock screen let's say you don't want your whatsapp messages to show up on your lock screen in case other people might be looking at your phone and that can be your sensitive data so now you can basically choose what are the apps you want to hide the notifications from appearing on your lock screen all you need to do is just go into settings select notifications and then go inside lock screen notifications here you can see we have this gear icon and when you click on it you can now select apps that can show content in lock screen previously you can either show or hide content on your lock screen but now you have got the option to choose on per app basis so now you can disable all those applications that has your sensitive data nowadays almost every samsung phone has this ram plus feature and honestly i think it's one of the most overrated android feature what it does is it uses the internal storage as part of the ram to store a background task whenever there is a need i truly believe this feature does not make a huge difference and it even reduces the lifespan of your phone storage by default it is already enabled on your samsung phone but i will strongly suggest you to go ahead and turn it off so again go into your phone settings select battery and device care and then tap on this memory option here if you scroll down you get this option that says ram plus as you can see it is already using 8 gb of my phone storage to provide virtual ram which is completely useless and it doesn't make any sense so just go ahead and disable this feature right now on your phone when you type a password in your phone you can see one letter at a time and if you are a slow typer then there is a high chance that other people can see your password did you know you can now easily hide your password while you type in all you have to do is go into your settings select security and privacy here you need to scroll down and you get this option that says other security settings simply go inside and turn off this option called make passwords visible now whenever you type in your password it's going to be hidden if you're really concerned about your privacy then you need to change this important android setting right now now there are times when you are using the wifi connection to watch videos on youtube or you are just browsing something on the internet and all of a sudden your wifi gets disconnected which is kind of annoying at times then you need to open the quick settings and turn on this mobile data toggle instead of doing this every time there is a hidden setting in your phone that helps you to keep your mobile data always active to turn on this feature first you need to enable developer options so just go to about phone software information and tap on this build number for 7 times now if you go back you will get developer options simply go inside and scroll down until you find this option that says mobile data always active once you enable this what it will do is whenever your wifi signal is weak or inactive it switches on your mobile data automatically so you don't have to manually turn on this toggle and you will have seamless switching between your wifi and mobile data it does consumes a bit more battery but if you really want to stay connected with the internet then you can definitely enable this setting next there are times when you are reading an article or maybe you are trying to note down something by just looking at your screen without actually interacting with it in such situations you might notice that your phone auto logs and you have to constantly tap on the screen to keep it awake to fix this you just need to go into your phone settings scroll down to advanced features go to motions and gestures here you will find something called as keep screen on while viewing so this is disabled by default and you need to enable this feature what it does is it keeps your screen on while you are looking at it so your phone will actually use the front camera to see that you are looking at the screen and keep it awake did you know there is a setting that you can change so that you get the best possible display experience every time you are watching videos on your phone to change this setting all you need to do is go to advanced features scroll down until you find this option called video brightness if it is set to normal on your phone you need to change it to bright here you will see a list of all the apps that are supported so it automatically enhance your display experience when you are using these apps on your samsung phone let's say you are going for a quick meeting what we usually do is we just put our phones in mute now instead of doing that you can just tap below the sound toggle and click on details here you can set your phone to temporary mute for a custom period of time 
and it will automatically goes back to the ringer mode after that specific time. This way you don't have to manually change your sound profile every time. So that's pretty much it for this video. These are some really important settings that you need to change on your Samsung phone right now. If you guys like this video then be sure to hit that like button. Subscribe to this channel if you haven't already. I am Mr Android and I will see you guys in the next one.